This episode of Brains on Games is all about building puzzles with dice. Welcome to Brains on Games. I'm Dr. Brian McDonald, and like I said earlier, this episode we're going to talk about a puzzle building game that involves dice. Not too long ago, the folks over at Black Oak Games sent me a copy of Not Dice and the expansion Not Dice Squared, which is a game about building Celtic knots. This is a game for kids age 8 and up. You can play with between 1 and 4 players, and the game takes about 15 minutes to half an hour to play. One of the fascinating things, I think, about this Not Dice game and, and the addition of the expansion is that there are so many different ways that you can play with these dice. There are a dozen different games in the basic set. Some are competitive, some are cooperative, some have more of a story to them, some are timed where you're racing against opponents to build these puzzles as quickly as you can. There are also puzzles, <laughs> just puzzles that you can do on your own while you're sitting and watching TV. You can try and build these different kinds of puzzles using the rules here in this book. Not only do you have those variations, the Black Oak Games website has more ways that you can play with these dice, and they are beautiful dice. There's sort of a marble finish to them, and they've got these silver patterns that will create these Celtic knots. Let's take a look here at the dice all laid out. There are some tokens that come in the game. Some of the games involve moving tokens across the roads that you'd create, for example, by building these puzzles, but you've got different designs on different sides of these dice. And in the basic game, you're working together. So the very first, the most basic, simple way to learn how to work with, with these dice is a game called Kells, where each player starts with two of the dice, you roll them, so you've got a random side that you're starting with, and then you draw a third one from the pool and you roll that one. And what you're trying to do is to work together to build the largest complete knot using as many dice as you can. If you find that you can't place a die, that means you have to discard one of your dice. If all the players together discard three, like a total of three among the whole group of you, then that's game over and you can't continue. You've got these curves here. The rule is that you cannot place a die where you're going to block a path. That means that you would have to turn this one like this so that the pattern can continue. There are some pieces like this one that would be like an end cap and you can put that here because see it's not blocking the pathway if you put it like this or you can't put it over here because it just doesn't work so there are a few simple rules for how these are supposed to go but you can see how the paths intertwine and how the little curved pieces might work and the crossroads will see this is going to be a tough one because that means i'm going to have to turn this way look what I've done here and you're just trying to make the biggest puzzle possible using as many of these dice and the points are based on how wide you're how big you're able to make this thing there's another version of the game where instead of creating a knot for a book you're meant to be drawing these Celtic knots for the book of Kells that's the story behind the game but there's another variation where instead of working with the book you're building a wall in a monastery and in that case you're stacking the pieces up so rather than just focusing on the top of the die that you've rolled you you can focus on all four of the sides you can't flip it around but you can focus on all of the sides to build this pattern on the front of the wall this is a game that's all about your visual spatial skills you really are working hard to make sure that you leave spaces open for the other players or maybe you want to close them if you're competing against the other players but you're really working hard to make sure that you can keep this pattern going for as long as you can in the basic game and to ensure that other players are able to add their dice to the pattern and that is not dice in a nutshell like a really i'm just scratching the surface on this one because there are so many different ways that you can play the game but the dice are beautiful and it is all about those spatial skills if you have any questions or suggestions for me you can find me at brian at brainsongames.ca brainsongames.ca is the website that's where future episodes will be posted and the previous episodes are up there already 
Brains on Games is the Twitter handle and the Instagram feed and the Facebook page, so we're all over the place. And if you enjoyed this video and you'd like to be notified of future ones, you can head on over to YouTube and click that subscribe button. Thanks for joining me and hopefully I'll see you next time. Thank you.